Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got this uh, blue shaded uh, scalene uh, triangle ABC fully inscribed in a circle with the center. Oh, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that uh, this side length uh, AC is uh, 13 units. This side length uh, AB is 14 units. And finally, this side length uh, BC is 15 units. And now our task is to calculate the radius of this circle, this length. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. We are going to calculate the area of this blue shaded triangle ABC. So therefore, I'm going to label uh, this side uh, lowercase a, this side uh, lowercase b, and finally this side uh, lowercase uh, c. And we are going to use the Heron's formula to calculate the area of this uh, triangle. And here's the area formula. Area equal to square root of s times s minus a times uh, s minus b times uh, s minus c where s is equal to a plus b plus c all over 2 and no wonder s is called the semi perimeter and now we are going to calculate the value of s and we know our a value is 15 b value is 13 and c value is 14 so let's go ahead and fill in the blank so s is going to be equal to 15 plus 13 plus 14 all over 2 and if we add the numerators so this is going to give us 42 divided by 2 so therefore our s value turns out to be 21 and now we are going to calculate the area of this triangle abc we know our s value we already figured out it is 21 so i'm going to replace all these s by 21 and all these uh, a b and c value i'm going to substitute them uh, as 15 13 and c value is 14 as you can see in this uh, next step i have substituted all those values and now we can see 21 minus 15 is going to give us 6 21 minus uh, 13 is uh, 8 and 21 minus 14 is 7 so therefore we can write this one as 21 times 6 times 8 times 7 and now i'm going to tweak this 6 as broken down to 2 times 3 and now we can see that 3 times 7 is going to give us 21 and 2 times 8 is going to give us 16 so therefore i can write uh, this one as uh, 21 uh, times uh, 21 times uh, 16 and now we know that uh, 21 and 21 uh, the square root is going to be simply 21 and the square root of 16 is uh, 4 so therefore we are ended up with uh, 21 uh, times uh, 4 that is going to be equals to 84 so therefore the area of this uh, blue triangle uh, ABC turns out to be 84 and here's our next step I'm going to connect uh, this center O with this uh, point A and uh, B as you can see in this uh, next step and now let's make an observation we can see this uh, OA is the radius uh, of this uh, circle so I'm going to label this one as lowercase r and likewise OB is the radius uh, lowercase r as well and now let's recall the central angle theorem according to this theorem the angle at the center is uh, twice the angle at the circumference and now we can see that this uh, angle is uh, at the center and this uh, angle at, at the circumference so therefore if this angle I am going to label this one as angle uh, theta then uh, this angle uh, has got to be 2 times uh, theta and here's our next step I have dropped this perpendicular OD on this side uh, AB 
And now let's recall the perpendicular bisector theorem. If a radius of a circle is perpendicular to the chord, then the radius bisects the chord. So therefore we conclude that this perpendicular OD bisects this chord AB into two equal parts. This part AD and this segment BD. If this whole segment is 14, then this uh, segment BD is going to be 7 and this segment uh, AD is going to be 7 units as well. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, triangle uh, ADO and this uh, triangle uh, BDO are uh, congruent uh, triangles. Since uh, this radius is R, this is R, this length is 7, this length is 7 and this is their common uh, side. So therefore we conclude that this uh, angle uh, AOD is going to be equal to this angle uh, BOD. It uh, bisects the angle. In other words, uh, this angle is going to be theta and this is going to be theta as well. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, BDO. And now let's recall the trigonometric uh, ratio sine of theta is always equal to opposite uh, divided by hypotenuse. In our case, uh, this uh, BD length is uh, our opposite and our hypotenuse is uh, radius R. So therefore, our sine of uh, angle theta turns out to be 7 divided by lowercase r. So thus our sine theta turns out to be equal to 7 divided by r. And here's our next step. Let's focus once again on this uh, blue triangle uh, ABC. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula. Area equals to a half times uh, A times B times sine of angle uh, C. As you can see in this uh, triangle, we got these uh, two side lengths uh, A and B and C is the angle in between. So therefore, in our case, uh, our two side lengths are uh, 13 and 15 and the angle between them is uh, theta. And now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, triangle ABC by using this uh, area formula. So therefore we got uh, 1 divided by 2 and our one side length uh, is uh, 13 and the other side length is uh, 15 times sine of angle uh, theta. And we know our sine of theta value is 7 divided by R. So therefore I'm going to substitute uh, sine of theta value as 7 divided by R. So therefore uh, we are going to write uh, 1 divided by 2 times uh, 13 times uh, 15 times uh, 7 divided by radius r. And furthermore uh, our triangle ABC area we already calculated as uh, 84. So therefore on this uh, left hand side I am going to substitute uh, that 84 over here. So therefore I can write 84 on the left hand side. And now we are going to solve for this uh, radius r. So now I can write uh, 84 as 84 divided by 1 equals to on the numerator we got uh, 13 times 15 times 7 divided by 2 times r. And now we are going to cross multiply as you can see in this uh, next step. And in this uh, next step I divided both sides by 84 times 2 and here we can see 84, 84 is gone, 2 and 2 is gone. So therefore our radius r equal to if we simplify this whole uh, right that is going to give us uh, 65 divided by 8. So thus the radius uh, of this circle turns out to be 65 divided by 8 uh, units. And that is going to be equal to 8.125 units as well. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.